Happy Sunday evening, everybody. I'm going to show you what I was working on the other night. These Tim Holtz, everybody has these. I've actually only got um, a couple because these are all stamps. I just save all this stuff. Oh my gosh. We don't throw anything away, do we? So anyway, I've only got two of these left. I've used them. Um, I thought I would just take, how do they go? They start out like this. I know you've all done this, or many of you have. Starts out like this, and then you just do the foldy thing. I um, did two, I made a little like a, you know, a tiny spine on it, which I suppose I should do that on this end too, but I didn't. So I'm going to sew this in really quick. Um, I made a little, make sure I get it the right way up. I'm just using stuff out of this reminisce book that my friend brought me. Um, and I was going to do one of these up quick just because... Make sure it's right side up. It's mostly just copy dyed. I stuck a couple. I love this image. So I thought I would put that in there. Okay, let's just do that quick. Should I make the holes? I don't think I will. I think I'll just poke and go. How's that? Poke and go. That looks like the middle. So that's a good, let's see, I think I want it on the outside too. So there's that. And this is the top. And this is the top. So, oh, I hate it when things get in the way. <clears throat> so I hope you guys had a good weekend. I, I'm going to turn this. I didn't do anything. Um, I didn't do anything. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't do anything. It's upside down. Uh, did some cooking. Baked some cinnamon rolls for people. Uh, my old neighbor has moved to, he got transferred from his Des Moines office to Dallas-Fort Worth area. And every year opening season for deer, I suppose shotgun. I don't know anything about their seasons. It's it's shotgun. It's not um not bow or black powder. His friends come up from Des Moines and hunt with him for the weekend. He had like he called it um, hunting camp or fish camp or at all these weekends here at the lake where his friends would come. And I would make cinnamon rolls every year. Well this has gone on about three years, I suppose. So they're in Fort Worth, so I had a message from him Friday night saying, no pressure. If you want to, it's up to you, but the guys are up there. So they rented a condo at the lake, here at the lake, just right around the corner from me. They're very close to where the neighbors moved from. Um, the guys are up there <laughs> staying in the condo. Uh, if you'd like, they'd sure appreciate your world famous cinnamon rolls. I'm like, oh, I love, I love my neighbor and his friends are awesome. So I'm like, oh, I don't think he realizes it takes about two hours to make cinnamon rolls. It's not like dumping a cake mix in a bowl. But I did it. I got up and I was going to make a batch anyway because my son's friend is coming from, was, he already came. He was coming from Minnesota Saturday. And I thought I would have some made. So I made a batch, got them raised in the oven, baked, got the other batch ready to go. So they just, it was one after the other. I was out there making rolls, just like in a restaurant. <laughs> so I ran them over. It was like 930 at night. I'm like, I hope they're up. Knocked on the door. They yelled, come in. And they're not even from around here. Come in. And it was eight guys. Big burly guys. 
nice guys. One of them, the one that I know really well, not really well, that's not true. I, I know him the best. He was, um, I'll, just tell a, I'll just tell a little story here. He was in the Coast Guard and he was in the um, branch. Well, he was in the Coast Guard, but he, he jumped out of helicopters and did rescue in the extremely terrible. There's a movie that exactly depicts what he did. And I, I don't know the movie. I'm trying to get some more string on this. There. Um, there's some, I don't know what the name of the movie is. I feel like it's Kevin Costner. Anyway, that's what he did. And he even um, did things like pulled out bodies with no head. Oh, see, now I went too far. I'm dumb. So he's quite the... Um, quite the legend. <laughs> anyway, I really like him. He's very fun to talk to. They all work at Firestone. I've been there for years. I shouldn't say they all, but a lot of them do. Anyway, nice guys. Went hunting. I think they got, oh, I don't know what they got to, uh, as of today when they left, but I think they, I think they filled all their tags. So you have to get a tag, one tag per person in Iowa. It used to be you either got a, a buck or a doe and now it's just I think it's just a deer tag because the population grew so much because of all the activism about killing the deer and then they just got overpopulated and then they got diseased and all that stuff so um, if this is upside down I'm gonna just scream nope it's like a little boy on an old toy with an old like a vintage seat like the cedar tree they just go out in the field and cut with the i love that silver garland stuff and then on the inside we've got the stockings hanging with the tree fireplace tools the mantle full of cards we've got a christmas lullaby so this is what's left. This came out off of a page. And there's my fold. I think I will put some beads on this. So I've got this left. And the inside is plain red. That was the inside of, of that book. Santa Claus is Coming is a poem I found. So I just have this left. This. So let's see what we can find that will fit. So that's it. I made cinnamon rolls and I delivered. And that is, oh, oh my gosh, this is actually kind of neat with these bells. This piece here, that's kind of an option. Where's that go? That's kind of neat. I don't mind that. I think I'll actually use that. Yeah, so that's that. Oh, that doesn't. Okay, let's cut this first. Let's see where we're at. I just did a video, a tour of my. I've seen other gals do tours of their craft room. Mine is not cool. I have a lot of old things, but it's not set up. It's not beautiful. It's just my space. But I just uploaded that a few minutes ago, um, which will be a couple hours by the time I load this. So... Boy, I do these. I do things unorthodox. Don't follow my rules or my <laughs> way of doing things. I don't measure. I don't do all those things. I just feel it around the paper. So, anyhow, a little, little video of my room. What I need to do is just get this piece of paper under control. So let's get rid of that. Put it there. Okay, so this is going to come this way. This will be the back. This is the front. This is the back. So 
So I think I want it to go, and I think it'd be cuter torn, actually, on this side. Whoa. Whew. I didn't want it to go that far. Okay, I'm going to have to put something there. So I got a little carried away. That'll work. I think I'd rather have more of the bell. That'll work. <sighs> so, no wind today. Should have went out and burned some stuff in the fire pit. Um, I have a few boards I need to get rid of. And my son built that bar, and we've still got some of the scraps from the pallets. You have to be careful in Iowa with the wind. And I'm right by a cornfield that's, it's all, um, I got to get a, a white. It's all um, harvested, but we've got the stocks, so. But anyway, today was not a windy day, but I was not going out. I just had a really lazy day. I watched um, The Christmas Story the other night. You should try it, kid. My son wanted a... My son owns a gun shop now. Bait, tackle, the whole nine yards. But when he was a little kid, he wanted a Red Rider. I think he was like four. And... On Christmas Eve, we told him he wasn't going to get one. He threw himself on the floor and cried. I wonder if he remembers that. that I'll have to tell that story to him. He'll be like, I don't like your stories. <laughs> but um, how funny is that? He's always hunted, trapped, that did all that. Okay. He's the real outdoorsman type. Deer. It would be nothing for me to not be able to put my car in the garage because there's a deer hanging in there with a tarp under it and blood running on the tarp. And oh my gosh, him and his friends. One time I came home. There's another story. One time I came home and his best friend forever and ever, since the time they were little, and he's the same way they hunted. I used to have to take him over here to the lake to a fishing spot and dump him off. Small town, you can do that. Um, and they would fish for a couple hours. They'd take a little cooler, and then I'd go back and get them. But um, one day, I went out to my garage, and there was a great, big, huge monstrosity of a freezer in my garage. I'm talking old, the longest old freezer you could imagine. In my garage and they were putting beavers in it, beavers. And it was in, you know, I don't park my car in the garage unless it's like cold winter. And um, yeah, so, but, you know what, at least they were, um, I think the parent says at least they weren't out robbing places or doing drugs because that's just not the kind of kids they were. Obviously they were, to wipe my nose. Um, good kids. Just always had things to do. Always fishing. Always hunting. Rabbit hunting. Rabbit hunting from the time they were little. He used to kill rabbits with his BB gun. Um, and we cooked them. He did. Mushroom soup. He did all that. Okay. There's that. Christmas. There's the back. I feel like I need to hide that now. And that's kind of loose. No, that's good. Um, could I put right there? Let's see. Okay. So this is the top. So this is the back. So we, this is from Amy. Uh, Crafty Cat's kit. His, I didn't do a very good job cutting his Let's use him. His um, stocking hat's got a little bit of a problem. 
put that on there. Since we've got a Christmas tree and little kids, Santa will be good. Get that on there before I lose it, that little ball. I can hear my son in the kitchen. He made um, cranberry orange streusel bread. And you can find the recipe online. He makes it every year at Christmas. So this is, he'll make it again. This is an early one because we had cranberries. And I said, you should use those cranberries and get them out of the freezer. We can get more. They're $1.50 a bag. Um, he grates the cranberries and puts them in the bread dough. He grates the orange rind, makes orange zest. He um, sugars cranberries in sugar, frozen ones. Or maybe he sugars them and then freezes them. I don't know the order of it. And um, it's absolutely gorgeous. He drizzles a glaze on it, and then he sets the cranberries on top of that. There we go. This is from Amy's kit. Um, if, not everything Santa. All-in-one Santa is the kit. In her Etsy shop, this is just from a book, from a book. And... Uh, very plain. Christmas lullaby. Christmas, Christmas. That's cute. What's this? Presents a girl that wants a doll. That's safe. It's all Christmas papers. So I think I'll do something here. Let's see. What shall we find? Okay, something here. I need to print some more kit papers. I don't have any. Um, oh, that would have been a cute picture. That was a dumb, oh well, not gonna go there. You can't win, can you? One side's good, both sides are good. You have to just, it's just all a toss up. So I think I want something that's little children. These are cute though. Um, something colorful on the on the red. I saw the cutest thing on Instagram today. Twin kids, the mom opens the door and she's saying, I thought they were asleep and one's standing there pointing with a pacifier in its mouth and the other one's down in the register. I just told my daughter, I said, I saw the funniest thing on Instagram about these two little twins and she goes, was one of them in the register? <laughs> I said, yes. Oh my God. And the reason I told her is because I said, what are you doing? Um, I was going to run her Christmas present out because I'm giving all my adult kids their presents now. It just cuts down on all the paper in the mess. And um, the reason is because I got one of my kids a big blow up um, yard thing. Kind of as a joke because I thought he'd be mad, but now he wants to buy more. Anyway, so she goes, I'm cleaning up paint. She said, I turned to my back for five minutes and her three-year-old got in the paint, put handprints on the wall, painted the table. Now, I don't know the extent of it. It might just be a little drop of paint. But and she says, I'm not going to get mad about it. What am I going to do? And I said, you can't do a thing. I said, remember when my youngest, I said, remember when he and his cousins played in the mud? And um, then the one time they got in some red lipstick, not at my house, at my niece's with her kids, and they had red lipstick rings around their, around their eyes. This is darling. Look at this. They're looking, they're looking up the chimney. I could get this, but it wouldn't all fit, so it'd be a waste. There's nothing you can do. Just laugh. It's like whatever. There's not a thing you can do. Just clean it up and just know that someday they're going to graduate and leave. And 
just the way it is. Clean it up and laugh about it. Clean it up and laugh. Oh, this is cool, carolers. Okay. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. What's on the back side? Oh my gosh, the servicemen with the tree. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin that one. Let's see here. There's plenty to choose from. I'm just picky about it. Oh, this is all military. Oh, that's cute. I'm sure there's a, a rhyme or reason to this book. I just... That's cute. Oh, that's neat. Some of them you don't want to cut them down because you don't want to lose something clear over on the side. I'm going to go back to the front. I believe I saw something. It's sticking in my brain. I think I'll just use... Oh, look at that. That's really cute. This will work. This will work. Cut it out. see bows in the way so back to work for everybody tomorrow <sighs> seems like the weekends go too fast I'm in a video today my craft room it was it ended up about 11 minutes but it was getting so dark already at like four or something in here. The shadows, it just, it just gets so dark. I'm taking this down because I want to try to get rid of this cold here. There. Now I've probably cut it too little. Um... That's okay. I'm going to put something under it. What could it be? That's the question. Um, how about... Some old paper. This is really, really old. bit of a backdrop. Let's see how that thing, I wish it went that way. I'm not happy with that. So much for that idea. I do like the, the white paper there, but I don't like that picture with it. I think I will take gosh, This one. I'm not even going to care what's on the back. I just can't. You can't. You just can't. This is a neat one. The dad with the children. Oh my gosh, that's neat. I know what's on the other side. I think it's the uh, little kid with it. Yep, it is. The fireplace picture. Oh well, can't do it. Can't do without it. I mean, that's just the way it is. So much for cleaning my space. First I'm going to put, no, I'm not going to put that down. I have this incessant need to tear everything. Get his wingtip shoes in there. Oh, 
that'll work. And I don't think that's not necessary now. Let's see. I'll tell you what I do need though is some of this would be good. Maybe. So this is a Tim Holtz packaging. Waste not, want not. Let that stick up. Oh, I should have inked this real quick. Look at the difference it makes. It's just, and I bought Vintage Photo this time, and I've been using uh, Ground Espresso. Espresso? And I, wow, big difference. I used to only use Vintage Photo for years, and now I want my Ground Espresso. I keep wanting to say Espresso. I want my Ground Espresso back, and it's, I mean, I suppose I could squirt some water in it and stretch it, but it's done for. I don't, I might have thrown it, but I need to get on Amazon and order some because I'm not liking this vintage photo today. It's too uh, orangey. I need a little more at the bottom. Had a good conversation with Crafty Cat today, just via Instagram back and forth. Oh gosh, she is Amy Lindsay. She is such a darling, darling person in real life. I mean, just a wonderful human. We talked about kids and her, her kids are so beautiful. They're just beautiful. And, um, I just, I just love getting to know people. Oh my gosh, this is sticking. But I have friends I've met through Facebook and other places. I used to play, um, I used to play a trivia game and there was a guy from Australia in there. The girl that set it up every day, she was an attorney in Minnesota. I wonder if she's still alive. There were people from England that played. I was really fast at the keyboard, so I'd have two or three windows open and as soon as the question came up, I was already in a different window. Some things, some things like geography. There was a guy from California that um, he knew rivers in France and everywhere. He was brilliant. Some new trivia, like um, pop culture trivia or movie trivia. I didn't know any of that, but I knew a lot of history there. But I'm still in contact with them. Oh, 15 years. There you go. So there's my inside. It's kind of wet. Um, what's that? See, it's all vintage. That's cute. I like that. So I'm going to call this done because it's wet. I'm going to let it dry. And throw this away, throw this away, and open this one up. Put that set there to dry. My storage might be getting full. I hope this doesn't cut out on me. I need to go in and clean my camera up. I actually have another camera, a phone, that I probably could just video with. So what I did basically was I folded this up, but I saved a gap of about, oh, a quarter of an inch. You know, so and there's no need to do the, the other, you know, quarter inch here. 
that's not necessary like I did. So let's do this one without that and just make a little folio. We could even have it go this way. That way I could get a cute picture on there like this on the inside. So let's do that. Um, coffee dyed paper is where it's right. here. Lord knows I have plenty. So we can do the whole inside in coffee dyed. Actually, why am I measuring? I can trim. I'm just going to start gluing it big and trimming. There's no need to go through all that. on there. Okay, so then we're to here. This is really a quick, easy way. Just do that. Just trim this off. No measuring needed. You could do this with the um, stickers from Dollar Tree too. Oh gosh, I've gone in there and had they've had really cute new ones in. I haven't bought any there for a long time. I haven't found any good ones. Um, but these Crafter Square, same thing. Hold this over. Hold this up. There you go. A little folio thing. Okay, so there's that. Inside is done covered anyway. Now we'll do the outside. I'll do it. I think I'll do it in coffee dyed also. So I can smell that bread. He made meatballs too. They've been in the crock pot. The frozen ones, but he made his own sauce. I'm gonna miss that kid when he moves. Just do that that way. Lift this up. Oop, I think I'm cutting the cardboard. Oops. 
Okay. There's my I don't know where my bone folder is. This will work. I think I'll put a where'd that circle go? I just here it is. Oh, that's too big. Um, a circle punch. Oh, shoot! Just knock that over. My water just went everywhere. I'm going to see, oh, this is not going to work. I have to put it in with a piece of tape or something. I want that star. Oh, I'm going to break it. Yep, I'll break it. It's like two layers of cardboard, three. And I've broke these circle punches trying to do that. I think I'll put a brad through this and tie my ribbon to it. That water is just drip, drip, dripping to the floor. There. I have to punch it. Where are my rusty brads? Should we do a rusty one? Um, not a big enough hole. Do better, Linda. Okay, this will go on here, and I'll go around and around this. Okay, so that's that's figured out. Um, decorate. Decorate. I'm really stuck on this book right now. That's a pretty... That's pretty... And that works. Okay. You can see my lines. Go a little long on this end. Okay, that's going to be my flippity flappity. So let me think. This, okay, that doesn't, I don't need to worry about that. It's on the inside that I need to hide the, the brads, the brad. One bread. I'm going to move it down here to the edge so I can 
squeeze the extra glue out to the edges. And then I can trim if I need to off. There's my flap. I'm going to round it. Do this size. I'm going to have glue on my cutter, but it is what it is, what it is, what it is, what it is. Do, 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 do. See a little bit of my paper. that. So my center is, what am I doing here? Five, two and a half. There's my center. my hole punch. So this will go through. That'll work. And I spread these little legs and then when I put my paper over it through there, then I can hide that. Okay, there's that. Now we need something cute here. I still really like these guys. Okay, what about, oh, isn't that Santa cute? Isn't this cute? If I cut around him. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Oh, that is so cute. I don't think it's going to fit on this journal, though. But I'm going to take it out now so that I remember it. Put it in my, in my kit area. Okay. Okay. Back to this. We could do the back. Or we could do this. Um, gosh, that's cute, Ad. They're cute. They're cute. Okay, found one. This is Darling. They are going to fit right there on the back. And I'll put a pocket. Let's see. I want them on the back. Or do I want them?
I am all storied out. I have no stories. Big old cinnamon baking weekend. British Bake Off. The Shoot Your Eye Out Kid movie. That's it. This is this is actually cute. There's a picture that's cute. Um, just a whole lot of nothing. If I tore this, so that would be like that. No, I want it on the back. Never mind. Okay, how am I going to do this? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to put a pocket at the bottom. That's crooked as crazy. That's crazy crooked. I'm just going to glue the whole thing and take off what I don't want. It's only glue. Go all the way to the top. Then I can uh, trim and I can put a band at the bottom. That's what I'll do. There's the back, the band here. If I had a little more of this, I think I thought I did. just have that be a trim. To there. Okay. This is like no plan. No plan. Go ahead and fold this up inside. And I can put a rick rack or something along that. That'll be cute. I've got some vintage green. Um, what else do I have? I have this. I think I have a little rick rack. There it is. Might be cute. Just 
just a teeny bit of rickrack in here. There, that'll cover that um, area. The division nicely. Geez, I was going to get some ball fringe at Hobby Lobby Friday. None of the trims were on sale. I am not. Pay I do. I refuse to pay full price at Hobby Lobby. I just won't do it. Um, not when I know that I'm going to come home and then on Monday morning, what I bought is going to be half price. That makes me mad at myself. So I was going to, you know, I wanted a bunch of colors. I wanted pink and orange and I wanted a limey green and at $3.99 a piece. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even selling my journal. Why am I going to spend that on supplies? So I left it. And I will, can't say I'll go back because I never go back. I never, I'm very rarely <coughs> go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, I think I'm going to end with this for now. There's the back of the one. There's the back of the other. Cute. I love Fabri-Tac because you can still manipulate it a little bit. And I have decided I don't like um, art glitter glue anymore. I am so angry at the bottles. So there's the two so far. This one's done. I mean, unless I do some more decorating. Just simple. Just something simple. And this one is as far as I've gotten. I need to finish it up, obviously. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to finish this another day. I'm going to go um, enjoy my evening. You guys enjoy your evening. Have a great week next week. I really appreciate the comments and the likes. Man, I'll tell you, you can have 300 likes or 300 views and two likes. I don't get it. I do likes on everybody that I go to, even the weirdos. <laughs> I'm talking about not weirdo crafters. I'm talking about like today I watched an, a washing machine. My washing machine quit last night. It spun out, and all of a sudden I heard it stop, and I'm like, okay, my washing machine stopped. It did not finish spinning. I went in there, and the water was all gone. The clothes were still wet. So, and I have a stackable unit, and they're about $1,300. When one goes, the whole unit has to go away. So I'm going to have to call for a repairman tomorrow. But in the meantime, I went to YouTube, and I'm like, Sears Kenmore stackable does not spin out. <laughs> And I liked this lady's video because she showed you how to fix it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get my son to come do it. Not the son that's here. The son that is a maintenance technician. He'll he'll get in there and do that. So it's just maddening. And I, I love my stackable. I think it's, well, stuff's not made that good. It's um, eight years old probably. So maybe it's time to say bon voyage. I don't know. But I'm going to go relax, watch some TV, and... Um, face a new week tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.